have um, two questions. Mm -hmm. The first one is about uh, sadness. About sadness. Uh, is it the more the more important one of the two questions? <laughs> of the two questions, give me the best one first. <laughs> because if you give uh, the the less important one first, then your mind will be on the second question waiting. <laughs> Okay, the other one. <laughs> um, <laughs> the other one is about uh, relationship. <laughs> it's, uh, I think this is the important. <laughs> 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 yes. The relationship and then the sadness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm only joking. Uh, it's about when when I when I in re relationship when I feel near when I feel very intimate to to a person mm. and. Um, there come, comes a separation, or the person push me away. Mm. I totally freak out. Yes, yes. And um, I, it's a feeling that uh, it, it's like a autono autonom reaction. It comes by itself. It's all right. Automatic uh, reaction. Uh, automatically, mm. yes. Why they push you away? Because um, I want to catch. Yes. You want to hold something. It's too much for another person. It's nice only for a short while. It's nice only for a short while. If somebody who is feel insecure, maybe they may like this. You need me, uh, but after a while, it's too much. You must not try to catch anybody. You're not a spider. <laughs> it's a reaction that comes inside because something feels maybe you are not worthy enough by yourself without any technique. You see. And so it feels that uh, then already it's not a good, such good ground. You must be aware of this. <clears throat> not that you can be automatically strong like that, but uh, relationships also offer some opportunity to discover what is true and discover what within ourselves is so quick to compromise. And you see. Yes, I, I, I can see, no? mm. but it's still there. Mm. Mm. Then you must, then, then it's a good thing you come to satsang, because then you can begin to um, look at this tendency mm, to cling, or to be maybe a fear of rejection or something like this, or uh, in relationships, doesn't work on trying. Like you try so hard to make it doesn't work like that. It don't work. There has to be a freedom. There has to be a, 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 an inner strength, a clarity, a wisdom. All of these things. You see, um, it doesn't work on, you know, how much you give. I give so much. It's not the payment. And and how much you try and you try and you talk and you t that don't work. It pushed people away, because you know this is too beautiful to try. It something must come and it must be there as a freedom. And if you are aware of this, and uh, somehow intuitively you know when to allow space, and all this will come. But 
I, I believe you must also make use of this insight. You've come now, you see there is something that feels I need to hold this thing. See? And uh, it's the same thing with freedom also. Sometimes you feel, as soon as you realize the true state, you're true, you feel the immensity of being, and something goes, how can I keep it? And this one is the same one in the relationship also. How, how, I, how I can keep it? You see? How are you going to keep? Relationships are not something to keep. It's to be enjoyed out of your freshness. And uh, in, in your strength you find that everything becomes more pure. Uh, everything wants to be with you when you are empty of intention. You know, too much intention creates tension. <laughs> you see, when you are empty from this need, from any kind of need also, and this is not an arrogance, it means just in your natural state of being. You don't need, you don't need to be approved of, you know. You don't even feel you need to be loved even. Can you imagine such a thing? Of being in a place where you don't even need, you don't need it to be loved. It's a very quiet place. In this place, your love becomes very open, very broad, very beautiful, very strong. But for now, I'm not asking you to jump over this thing. I say, look at what it is that feels anything good. I must grab it. Just to look at that. And, uh, you know, who, who, who is what? who is doing this, you see, who needs this thing. And be very, very quiet with this kind of question. Just be very quiet. In fact, I'm going to um, ask you to do this exercise. Maybe tell me again tomorrow what happened. Just look and feel this. Recreate that scenario in your mind and see what comes up and feels. If you're going to be abandoned or left or something, something is behaving like this, and take a look. You know, what, what are you afraid of? Push it to the extreme. Go to the extreme in, in your image and see what will be the worst, in the worst case, what is going to happen. How it's going to feel, you see, and see who suffers it, who really is suffering it. But don't forget that you are also observing. So these three things. One is, what do you imagine is going to happen? If, it, if your, your fear comes true, that you're going to be rejected, you cannot keep what you want to keep, and you feel pain. Already I look in your eyes, see it's, something is going to leave you. Then you go and see what happens. If so you are left now, abandoned, they don't want you. And then feel what comes up, but also be very present in the place where you are looking. And be at the same time with the feeling, see what happens. What are you afraid, you see? Like this. This is very intelligent work, looking at it. And then somehow you feel maybe the whole feeling of the worst feelings that you imagine is going to happen. And then see actually who really is suffering it. If you can identify the one who is suffering it. Hmm. Don't fall inside the story though, just look. Be very present that you are looking at this, but at the same time give it the best shot at really trying to see and, and look. You can do this with any feeling, any kind of thought, you can do it. Then you will come to see what, are, what is functioning in your name and find out is it really you or is it just uh, some kind of image that is a projection of your mind and some space will come and that space will be something uh, very important to recover again and not be afraid of this experience. Invite it even. Next time you invite the experience to come, throw the best punch, throw the best punch, go to extreme. But I will only look at you only through my eyes only. 
Look, don't interfere, don't judge, don't interpret. See if you can do it. It's a skill that you'll quickly develop because it's so the fruits of your looking is so sweet. It will be sweeter than any relationship eh? to discover your freedom. Oh, I'm free of this thing. It wasn't that I need this thing, but what uh, more important that I see that I'm free of the need to be this. And amazingly, amazingly, when that space is cleaned inside you, it's what a beautiful attraction also. People want to come because even if you have some agenda in your mind, you see that uh, already you have an eye on someone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, and then you you start to get all your best firepower together to impress. But still, something will they will smell it. If they are a bit intuitive, they'll smell this one is dangerous. No, <laughs> she's gonna hit me on the head and pull me inside, and uh, I'm f I'm finished. <laughs> but uh, honestly, this is a good thing to do. A any sort of thing that you feel is keeping your mind or your attention trapped into a kind of scenario, you're afraid of it, then you start to protect. You, you, we protect our fears and our attachments like this, the sense of vulnerability. And it's not a good way to go through life at all, as you know. I don't have to even tell you like that. Because it takes so much energy, you see? So this is a way to, to, to go through these things. So if you like, if you really understood what I'm asking, then uh, look at it. I don't know if you're able to do it outside of the actuality of the situation, but some people can do it. They can really represent and create their worst case scenario of uh, suffering or something, and they can really be present and watch, watch you know, what happens inside. If you are able to do this, it will be a very good exercise. You. And please come give me some feedback, what you have found. Okay, yes. Mm. I think I can. Yes. Yeah.